Jay oh Reddick. wait, I've yeah. seen, bro. I saw a video with Osama bin Laden. I don't know if they're gonna have. I don't know if they're gonna have it on here. But, like he was dancing to Lady Gaga. We got a tough video right here. I found the most dangerous hard drive on the internet. Now I'm gonna stop the title right there. You wanna find the most dangerous hard drive on the internet? Go to any Genshin Impact player's uh, hard drive, and you'll you'll for sure find it. Anyways, uh, let's see what this got. Found the most. How do you even find that? Yo, I don't know what this man tough has to go through for some of these videos, but God, I'm mercy in his soul. I know that was a weird sentence to start the video off with, but yes, this hard drive that I'm holding holding in my hand right now contains 700 gigabytes worth of osama bin laden's files in oh <laughs> so that's who he was talking about that's who it was well i mean okay then in these files a plethora of items can be found including handwritten journal excerpts home videos american movies such as ice American shows such as tom and jerry anime viral video downloads like charlie bit anime yo what in american shows such as tom and jerry anime yo, let me find out osama was was what was watching peak i don't even know what this is viral but anime video downloads start... like charlie let me find out. finger adult video yo what animes fans. do you think osama bin laden was watching i really so want to know more. to be specific it's 747 gigabytes worth of files and i have those files right here in this room pretty cool in fact Yo, how the f did this man get the hard drive what type of deepest of depths of the internet has this man went through I'm the I first imagine. ever youtuber making a video on this one punch Let man that has Bro, one punch man is files. made in like 2016 now, I'm explain exactly the how i was able to download all of these personal files but first i'd like to discuss how this video is going to be formatted as it is a little bit different from my normal videos think of it as okay. an extension of my i bought the most banned video on the internet video which mm. came out around a year ago. In part mm. one, I'll be giving you guys information. I'm doing this because I don't just wanna get right into the files. I need to give you guys a lot of context. In okay. part two, I'll talk to you guys about the legality of what I can and can't show you. In part down three, I'm door. gonna browse the files with you guys, of course, censoring what needs to be censored. I always okay. appreciated when Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers would go on the deep web and just show us his raw clicking journeys that he would get into. So that's how that part will go. And finally, okay. we'll head on to my final thoughts. And then after that, there'll be a little life update to explain why I didn't upload for a month. I hope you guys still remember Remember me but without further ado let's head on to the information part one information i don't want this video to be a history lesson but i do have to give you guys some context even if almost everyone watching knows who osama bin laden is and i really hope this video doesn't get limited ads i know i complain about that a lot but it, it's a real issue i have to go through y'all yeah, definitely did anyway bin laden was born in 1957 in riyadh saudi arabia to an extremely wealthy family his father was mohammed bin awad bin laden a saudi millionaire from had Ramut, yemen and founder of the construction company saudi bin laden group bin laden was known for being a saudi arabia Arabian born militant, mastermind behind the 11th attacks, and founder of the pan Islamic militant organization Al Qaeda. But when growing up, he Jeez. studied at King Abdul Aziz University until 1979, when he joined the Mujahideen forces fighting against the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. He helped fund the Mujahideen by funneling arms, money, and fighters from the Arab world into Afghanistan. And this is where he really started gaining popularity among many Arabs. In 1988, he formed Al Qaeda. Now, Al Qaeda was founded in the late 1980s when bin Laden was in his early 30s, and it began as a network to support. For Muslims fighting against the Soviet Union during the Afghan war, in which members were recruited throughout mm. the Islamic world. But when the Soviets withdrew from So it started with like good intentions. So guess what I just learned, guys? 87% of you guys are not subscribed. That's like the biggest number out of any other YouTube I've ever seen. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. On the real though, like please subscribe. I need to feed me and my family and my editor, so please do a and then it led into, well, yeah. Then in 1989, okay. Okay. the organization dispersed, that. but continued to oppose what its leaders considered corrupt Islamic regimes, which to them meant the entirety of the U.S. On August 23rd, 1996, Osama declared war on the U.S., launching a series of bombings and related attacks. His involvement in the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombings landed him a spot on the FBI's list of the 10 most wanted fugitives and the 10 most wanted terrorists. I didn't think I would be talking about a top 10 right now. Okay, I'm always going to bring this up, but like the fact that the FBI before even finding any of the top 10 people on their list found the gta hacker is still crazy to me it still makes no sense to me like rockstar was really on their i'm always gonna bring that up i'm always gonna bring that up like it makes no sense what the f does the fbi be doing that they've had some of these people on the top 10 list for like years and they never find them or they're they're, they're just never found like makes no sense yeah the fbi had a top 10 list i guess they still do now i don't mean to fast forward but we all know what happened on 
11th, 2001. And if I censored it, it's because I don't want limited ads, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And yeah. YouTube reviewer that's watching this, this video is educational because you guys didn't give that documentary limited ads. So there's no reason to give me limited ads. I'm doing the same thing, except I'm a guy in my room, not a production company. Anyway, we all know what happened on that day. Horrible tragedy where many lives were lost. After that, in December, 2001, Bin Laden went into hiding after evading capture by US forces. And he went mm. into hiding in the Tora Bora cave complex, which was quite literally in a mountain. In the following years, US forces searched for him along the Afghanistan-Pakistan border, but he wasn't found. Then, in October 2004, about a week before that year's presidential election, Bin Laden emerged in a videotaped message in which he claimed responsibility for 11th attacks. Fast forwarding some more, Bin Laden would remain hidden, but this time in a different secluded compound which he had custom built, located just half a mile from Pakistan's premier Okay, military here's my thing. What would what would have happened if Bin Laden was like alive in like our generation? Would this man just be like posting clips like that, like videos of admitting stuff on like YouTube and stuff? Would it be like a YouTube premiere or some shit? That's crazy to think about, because this man was sending videotapes to like the, the 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 TV officials to like play and stuff. Nah, that would have been that would have been crazy. In Abbottabad. Like imagine a fucking a fucking plug page for Bin Laden. <laughs> Can you imagine a plug page for Bin Laden? Bin Laden plugs. Oh hell. <laughs> alone though, there were at least 20 other people living with him, ranging anywhere from five years old to even older than him at the time. The compound had three floors, livestock, securities, TVs with signal, and that was basically it. No one was allowed to leave and no one was allowed to enter. Eventually on mm. May 2nd, 2011, Osama's compound was raided and he was killed at gunpoint by now former Navy SEAL and member of SEAL Team 6, Robert O'Neill. I went here and there's Osama bin Laden. And he's Yo, standing can you up. imagine like like the feeling this dude got of taking down Bin Laden? You know, you know he didn't live it down, bro. All he has to tell any, all he has to tell is like, yeah, I took down that nigga Osama Bin Laden. You know, ain't nothing too much. So when we fucking, uh, when we fucking, uh, you know, <laughs> that's all he has to say. Uh, he's got his hands on his wife Amal's shoulders. I'm closer to him than we are right now. He's maneuvering. He's not surrendering. He's a threat. He's a, and I shot him. So I shot him twice in the face over Amal's shoulder, and I shot Damn. him again as I'm moving Amal. Rip so he's down here now, and I can hear him exhaling. He's, he's dead. I don't give a fuck who you are. That, I just killed a guy in front of his family. That's, I moved his kid. I pushed them back. and but, So I'm moving Damn, that's, out of you, He even had respect for the kids, bro. Like some people, I don't even know if it was somebody like Bin Laden, bro. And let's say, like, I'm, I'm going to have to, you know what, you know. And like, even his kids are there, bro. I feel like I have no mercy thinking of like all of the amount of people he's he's killed. And, and just, like, damn, Jesus. And my guy comes up to me and he goes, you okay? And I said, no, um, what do we do now? And he said, now we find a computer. And we do this every night. That's funny. Hundreds of times. And I said, yeah, you're right. I'm back. And he goes, yeah, you just killed Osama Bin Laden. Your life to change. Get to fucking work. Part two. Damn, that was cold. Like, what are you even doing in that situation? He's just like, yeah, I got him. Like, what is the, well, I don't know if I could say that actually, but I'm like, damn. All I'm thinking of is the infinite pussy he's getting. That's all I'm thinking of. So while Bin Laden was in hiding, well, he up. would use flex, that's an absolute what a flex. shocker. It actually is kind of a shock, uh, if you think about it. Anyway, it's theorized that people would smuggle flash drives for him. Uh, no one really knows, though, but it's what theorized the that, yeah, people would smuggle flash drives to get news to him, but he didn't prefer that. He actually preferred speaking face-to-face -face with people because he didn't like, he didn't like the internet, basically. He did not like the internet, but if we're not I mean, talking about- that didn't like the internet i i guarantee he would thrive on here with the way he was handing out tapes to news and just saying oh play this video real quick do this sending messages legality of what i'm about to show you guys we have to talk about how i gained access to these files well in 2017 yeah, let's, let's, let's hear it, all the digital material that was seized in the abadabad compound except oh, for shoot. everything that was copyrighted such as the anime and the western movies now why no did bro we was trying to see what type of hentai you was watching damn bro belong what type of hentai were you watching bro that's tough why did they out of everything and the anime yeah i was trying to figure out what he was watching that actually makes me sad ice age and anime and viral videos like charlie bit my finger on his hard drive yeah. no one really knows but the most popular theory is that they were used for his children to be entertained or his grandchildren just kids around the house just to be entertained it's just funny thinking about the possibility that osama could have been watching anime you know we're just thinking that it was for the kids but osama could have been watching anime i feel like and he was watching that, it all the computers were pre-owned so we don't really know much you no know, yeah osama could have been watching anime but it also could have been the previous owner or it could have been someone that smuggled a flash drive and he copied the files the question hard the drive. question we is won't. does he think anybody can be goku that's the question ever fully know and yes i know the idea of Osama watching anime is incredibly funny, 
but it could have happened. Anyway, visiting CIA.gov, specifically where it lets you download the Osama files, you'll be met with this notice. CIA resolved the technical issues associated with the November 1st, 2017 posting of the Abbottabad compound material, removing operating system and other copyrighted files, as well as files that potentially pose a risk to users. CIA mm. also converted the Microsoft Office files into portable document format, PDF, to enable viewing of the material from any device and mm. to minimize any risk to users, and converted executable files, files that run programs on a computer, to a format that no longer poses a risk to users. For all removed files, the original file name is listed in a glossary to allow users to trace the disposition of the file and to understand the specific reason of the file's removal or conversion. Scrolling down, the website gives you options yeah. of what you wish to download, and you could download all the files at once. Yo, why do they sort this out like it was a, uh, like it was like categories for a website? They're like, okay, so here's the, here we got a uh, Charlie bit my finger. Here we got some of the hentai. Here we got some of the, some of the cartoons, some Tom and Jerry. Why do they have it sorted out like that? Eh, it's the CIA. Never download mind. certain sections. Never mind. We have Bin Laden's journal, which is 118 megabytes. We have audio, which is 30 gigabytes. Audio. We have documents, which is. 60 Damn! 258 gigabytes, 30 gigabytes of audio. 16 gigabytes of documents, 7 gigabytes of images, and 162 gigabytes of video? The 12 gigabytes of Microsoft Office files? Bro, an Office file was like 12 megabytes at most. For me, how many Office files did this man have? Man said a cluttered ass video. He needs a uh, he, he he needs to clear his uh, temp files for the 2000s. That was like crazy. That's what I'm saying. That was that's so much. Even for especially for the 2000s, people only had what back then like Internet Explorer and <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> what else was there? 15 gigabytes. We have images, which is 7 gigabytes. We have video, which is 162 gigabytes, and PDFs, which are 12 gigabytes. Now you may. PDFs thinking, is getting tough. No, this I don't is understand so that. easy to download. I mean, all you gotta do is go to the website and click download. <laughs> Why are you claiming to be the first person to make a video on this? Well, let me just tell you, it's not as easy as it seems. Let yeah. me explain. Getting these files was one of the most stressful things I've ever done on this channel. And I'm not even kidding when I say that. I'm not trying to hype this up. Let's just talk about the process of getting Osama Bin Laden's files. So trying to download the file straight from the website that is up right now, you'll get Jesus. This Hold on, let's go back. So trying to download the Hold up. file straight from the Are you sure this file is 258 gigabytes? Y'all don't know, but the my hard drive literally has like I think five gigabytes left. My C drive or whatever. Definitely like break my computer. The website that is up right now, you'll get this error. Fuck! Looks like we're out of solutions. Damn. But no, I had a trick of my tattoo sleeve. The Wayback Machine. A website that archives mm. almost every website on the internet. That I mean, I IQ. figured that if they IQ. claimed that you can download the files, the website should have worked some time ago. I ended up being right. I went to a screenshot taken on August 1st, 2019, and boom, the files started downloading. Wait, a day to fucking download? Well, that makes sense. It's 700 gigabytes. I'll wait. I'll wait. Except it would crash about 10 minutes in. I tried this about Damn. 30 times, and it would happen every day. <laughs> single time you see downloading such a big file who knew getting osama bin laden's uh files was so hard through a simple web browser isn't ideal when Osama has Google better storage Chrome was than you. Its pants and getting fucked at the same time. I had to call it quits. So I decided what? to download a download manager and download it through there. Let's not stress out Google Chrome. Let's put the stress on a download manager. But that never worked. The download remained at 0%. I was genuinely going to give up on this video. I was like, yeah, okay, let's move on to another topic. My Bro, I have a question. I have a question. Okay, this has nothing relating to it. Like, have y'all ever downloaded a file from somewhere? And it's like the smallest file ever, right? It's a small file and it takes so fucking long long to download for some reason what what is the pro i don't know what's up with that and then i'll go to another website and i'll try to download it and it downloads faster i don't know if that's just me bro but it's so annoying minecraft one time took me a whole entire day <sighs> Rush, I'm the first that. YouTuber with Osama Bin Laden's files. But then, out of curiosity, you know, one last solution maybe, I decided to hit up my developer friend Casp and just ask, like, yo, do you know anything I could do to get these files? And this dude is a fucking goat. He whipped okay. up a script that would automatically download all the files directly to the hard drive that I have. I have this hard drive hacker? from Amazon. This physical thing, no, it is not Osama's hard drive, but we're talking about the internal. And he even let me sign into his server, so all the stress wouldn't be on my computer. It it would be on his computer over there and after four long fucking days i finally had the files i had access to one of the most dangerous men in the world's files Personal. okay he's hyping us up like <laughs> he's hyping us up like so fucking crazy bro why do i want to download this man's files now hey where do i access this shit? i might download it after the stream what the fuck?
This man is hyping this so much. What could be on it? Four days is crazy. Hey, he got Files. it. Files. Huge shout out to Casp though. Do this it. video couldn't have been done without him. And I told I him that if it worked, I, I would that. give him a fat shout out. So here it is. Make sure to follow him on Twitter at DevCasp and hit him up if you need any coding, scripting, or anything development wise done. He's sure. your guy. Okay, so what can and can't I show you guys? These files do include death videos. I'm talking gore, which obviously YouTube's Wait. terms of service. C the CIA, I thought they were taking that shit out. Yo, the CIA gives no fks. They just show videos of like gore and stuff. Yo, what the hell, CIA? They were saying, I thought they sent the website like, yeah, we took out this file because of that. <laughs> That's crazy. This will not let me post that. But that includes animals and humans. And I know this because Jeez. I watched the other YouTube video on this topic. No, it's not by a YouTuber. It's by a company. It's actually by a National Geographic. Oh, wait, I've yeah. seen. Bro, I saw a video of Osama Bin Laden. I don't know if they're going to have. I don't know if they're going to have it on here. Like he was dancing to Lady Gaga. Yes, I, still I don't know if they're the going to have it on here, but the first it's first just crazy. solo YouTuber to have Osama's files. So yeah, he uses some live leak. got the files. Honestly. Uh, including the copyrighted material, like the Tom and Jerry episode. I did not get that. I did oh. browse through the files and I couldn't find any anything but like they said they removed all copyrighted material for some reason when i was browsing i didn't find any gore but if i do find it of course i'm gonna censor it i wanted to kind of just huh. browse with you guys i browsed a little bit just to make sure I had the files, but it is really odd because I have 747 gigabytes unless they're in another file type, which I don't have a program to open them with. Then it wasn't meant to be, but it was drive, to Madonna. It was some like he danced to, he da he definitely danced to, I don't know who it was Lady Gaga. It was poker face. Now it was like, he had like a Wii remote or something. He was like poker face, something like that. Videos. I saw that video on TikTok. recorded by Osama's eldest son, Hamza bin Laden. Okay. I think I've given you guys the proper context and the proper information to go ahead and browse the raw files with you guys. Okay. Before we head on to that, I want to say that today is the first day of the Christmas drop over at Earl doesn't exist.com my brand so if you guys want to support it if you guys want to help me out if this it's video far. doesn't get f***ing monetized there are a lot of pants we have comfort sweatpants everybody go check it out part three where we browse the raw files together I'm it was gonna, right it was right when we transitioned that's why i'm gonna open it up me. using my yes. actual computer i'm gonna be using a virtual machine a virtual machine is a computer inside your computer pretty cool you just download the program called virtualbox you can download any machine of your liking linux mac windows I'm gonna be using Windows just because I'm most familiar with it. But shout out Ubuntu. I remember the good old days when I would install Ubuntu onto my Chromebook. Yeah, what is that Ubuntu? So what is Ubuntu? Why do I feel like I heard of that? Ubuntu. I know about Linux. Isn't that another Fine. thing? But I'm doing this just for my safety, oh, no. just in case there's anything malicious. So here we are, default wallpaper. Uh, let's go to files. Here it is. This is the uh, hard drive that I plugged in. I made it so this is readable. Damn. And here are the files. Damn. So these yo, uh, ain't no way this man put shop at Earl does not exist dot com. <laughs> Bro promoted his brand like that under Osama bin Laden's files. This is the real one right here. So I mean, there were a lot of attempts. This was the zip file. We had to unzip it. That took a long time, and we actually couldn't use WinRAR, which is my personal favorite. I had to use Seven Zip, which was very interesting. But here are the files. There's another folder, I guess, in this. And here's everything. They're sectioned off Damn. like this. And I guess let's just browse. Yo, 2017. I was about. I, don't, I, don't I was know. about to say, bro. Bin Laden was like using 2017. I'm stupid. What else to say? Okay, so first one doesn't have much. Uh, PDF. Let's open that up. Looks like it's a blank PDF. We have a program. What if I don't bro, don't tell me all this hype was for nothing. PC. Okay. So I swear I to God, I'm gonna be I better see HTML something. files or the PDF files. I'm not trying to read, let alone in a language that I don't understand. But we could browse the images and the videos. So here we have. What is this. that? I don't know what this is. What is this? Don't know what that is either. But this? this looks like a gamer pick, like an Xbox gamer pick. What is this? Oh, that's a cool animation. Was Osama making sprite art? Is he making pixel art? I make pixel art. Bro, this, this man video. had the most NPC shit ever. Like, why does he have just a bunch of PDF files and random videos like that? I'm so confused. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, no. Default Windows. Fucking, like, it looks like a loading screen. Why are these all just, like, sound effects? Uh, I mean, there's so much to view, you guys. Like, 700 gigabytes? Like, whoa, what is that? Oh, okay, this is gore. I just found some gore. Okay, this is actual gore. Okay, so it's oh, an shoot. image of what looks like an Arab man just completely beat up, almost disfigured. Wow. Oh, Damn. I, wow, I really thought they got rid of it. So wait until we find a so found something interesting. For us, I'm going to look up .jpg at the top right, and then I'm going to look up .3gp, which is the types of files, like the video files, <laughs> also .mp4s. 
But, you know, I don't want to be scrolling through all those HTML files. I don't care about those. So let's do dot JPEG with the E, with the letter E in it. And then later we'll do um, dot JPEG without the letter E. I really don't know what the difference is between a JPEG and a JPEG file. Looks like a fighter jet with a, is that a bomb right there? Oh no. Oh wow, okay here, oh wow, okay this is gonna have to be blurred. Okay, so this is a bunch of kids, like literally babies, probably his grandchildren, just taking pictures of them, innocent pictures, nothing crazy. Uh. What is this? Hack boy. <laughs> Hacker. This looks like Yo, a this is bit. such this is such a, a 2010 like Photoshop. Or I said 2010. Was it 2010? I don't remember. But this <laughs> like skeleton memes that are like, I just poop my pants. I need to, I actually wanna save this. Hold on. This is actually oh, I already have it technically. This is funny as fuck. Hack boy. Yeah, so sorry that most It's just kinda is sad to think about. Like this whole thing is sad to think about because like bro had pictures of people literally bludgeoned and all types of way of fed up, completely dead. Meanwhile, and then like he, there's just pictures of like his his <laughs> grandsons and grand and daughter. What the f what the hell? It's blurred. There's a bunch of babies here. Why does brother have that job? I don't know. Faces. I swear, I thought I saw Shakira. I'm not even kidding. Ah, uh, that's a, that's a child. This is another gore image. Ah, oh, this reminds me of fuck. The I bought the most banned video on the internet. Like I'm getting flashbacks. It's almost like this where I'm speechless. I couldn't man. mentally do this, bro. I don't know how tough. Do Did he just see a, a child? I couldn't do I'm, this, bro. Ah, oh, I fuck. couldn't do this. Yeah, more. I this one's like this. child medical. I'm I'm probably not gonna click him anymore. That was I literally could not do this. This bro. is Shakira. That is Shakira. <laughs> Why is there a random image of? <laughs> Yo, this is so stupid, bro. What the? F I'm not that. I'm not laughing at this other. Why does he have just a random picture of Shakira? What the? F <laughs> of Shakira in Osama's files. That's weird. It's such low quality. There, hey, there's some Illuminati shit going on. In cheese that we have here. Okay, this is where. Oh my god, oh, video this games. is the anime. Wait, wait, no, it's like an arcade game. Oh, that was the anime. Wait, oh no, what the hell is that? Never heard of that. This is so interesting. Wait, what the fuck? Hold up, let me move it. This is so interesting. Insert coin. Literally old school. Whoa, this is actually fucking cool. What the fuck? <laughs> what game is this? Someone, someone in the comments. Said, oh. Oh, it's the it's the bubble one. Bubble bobble. I guess that's what it's Never called. Never heard bubble of Bubble bobble. That is crazy. What the fuck? Why did he have this on his computer? This is so specific. Oh, what? This is actually getting kind of cool. What the fuck? I'm actually like... This is this is this is so interesting. What is this? Yo, Wait, so, so did, game, what, did this man have like an emulator or something to play these games? I can't imagine if some had like a, <laughs> uh, an Xbox. Or I said Xbox, like a, a like a game emulator, like a Nintendo 64 emulator or something. He's playing Waka Waka during his hiding. What games these are? Would have known Osama was a gamer. Yo, I'm just kidding. We don't know if this was his again. This could be pre-owned, but so I'm guessing the games are installed. I'm guessing the games are installed in some .exe files, which the CIA had removed or at least made non playing. So League, nah. get any viruses. I don't think he will go this that gives down. This a hint that to ask what games are on this hard drive. What is this? Is this Zelda? No. Oh, it's that one game. I remember that. I never thought I would have a nostalgic trip on Osama's fucking hard drives. Jurassic Park. There's a there's a Sega Jurassic Park. He definitely game. Had to have some type of emulator. He definitely has some type of emulator. Fuck. I just realized I might have to blur every time I scroll because, like, I don't know where there is gore and where there isn't. Let's look up three GP. Okay, so these are a bunch of home videos. Uh, I'm gonna have to blur that. Yo. Oh, hey, I found anime. I, this is anime, right? Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's just like a random flash. What type of what type of 360p ass anime quality is this? You know what? It was 2010. Yo, the way I used to watch anime on YouTube when I first started, bro. We all know how it was. It was always the way you watch anime always was like. It was like that small thing, like that. The, it, it was like cropped out right there. There'd be a picture. It'd be high pitched. Those are good times. He was watching anime in 360p. This is like two pixel p. It's like that brain pop animation. Hey, Tim and Moby. Bro, the dub sounds so bad too. Like I don't understand how some people. Like I know dub has gotten better now, but like old dubs and shit, especially from like foreign countries, it sounds like ass. Trust and believe, it sounds bad. Yeah, dude, Buddy's mic is peaking. Jesus. Think subway copyright? Oh yeah, I think yeah, actually. Oh. He's saying move away. This is my girl. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what the? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, this man had goofy odd videos and.
I swear to God, this is the most random muffin sh ever. <laughs> Why is this? Here? There's no way this is real. Wow. Hey, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much. There's not much. A good look up dot mp4. This looks. Oh like no! More this is about to be bad. Music videos. It's literally just music videos. Oh. Guess he needed to be entertained or something. I don't know. Oh my god! I just found, fucking found an ISIS video or not ISIS. Oh my god! That scared the fuck out. Okay, that was that was more gore. I think we've seen enough. How does and, Tough uh, do it, bro? I can't look at gore anymore. I already told you I can't look at gore anymore. If I see some sh like that, bro, oh no, it just icks me. I can't. I can't. Any kind of freaked out by the videos that are on here. I don't want to show anything else. I don't want to get targeted by someone. I don't think I would. This was released by the CIA, and there's already a documentary out about it. But yeah, uh, let's head on over to my final thoughts. Hmm. So my final thoughts of what we just went through. Osama bin Laden. Yo, right, that's the most craziest statement I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He's a terrorist, but he got a nice sense of humor. Hard drive. It's the most craziest Super thing I've read all night. I don't know if there's been another person whose hard drive got leaked like that and especially someone so dangerous so well known for being a horrible person it's yeah. so interesting seeing the files and we saw i'm telling you guys like literally one percent maybe less than one percent of what those hard drives had to offer remember we skipped Jeez. all the html files and we skipped all of the pdf files simply because I can't read them. And it was very interesting uh, seeing the arcade game. So dude had some arcade games installed and we were able to see the images. Remember, I'm trying to figure out what games. emulator he was using, bro. Especially back then. There's no way he just had like the pictures there. Maybe they weren't his or maybe they were his kids. As for the gore, yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable to look at. I wasn't expecting any. I really thought the CIA had removed it. But yeah, this really is a once in a lifetime video. I don't really know when a criminal's hard drive is going to get leaked like this to the public. So CIA released this. Again. Yo, am I scared that I'm going Imagine the CIA like released Epstein's hard drive. It's over. It's over, bro. It's over. But you know they won't do it. You know they won't do it. You know they won't do it, obviously. But holy fucking shit. Nah. Someone, no, the CIA released it. Don't get mad at me. You're mad at them. All right. I'm just a normie that happens to have an audience. <laughs> but yeah, super interesting video. If you guys thought it was entertaining, make sure to leave a like. Someone said, who is Epstein? They won't. I mean, of course they won't. I mean, I don't think anybody would ever want to see anything on Jeffrey Epstein's hard drive. Of course, they, they're not going to. But like, bro, this, even all the governments and shit, you know, Epstein's connection, Epstein, this, Epstein was basically connected to everybody. Uh, that was a great video. We're not gonna watch this part, but bro, that was interesting. To so my final thoughts is, um, yeah, he was a weirdo. He was a... He was a weirdo. I think we can all agree with that. It's just so funny. Like, I wanted to see, like, what type of hentai and shit he had on his hard drive, but I guess not. Oh, well. That's too bad.